Hey y'all, Eric Line, Line Long here, and uh, man, it's another scorcher, but had a customer, I didn't know if he wanted his yard cut or not, it was it was uh, not very grown over, so I called him and he said, yeah, go ahead and cut it, and also, could you do a little bit harder edging, he has a sidewalk in his backyard that goes out to a pool, he said, just kind of edge that in a little harder, so customer wants a hard edge, let's give him a hard edge. And this is, uh, I'll show you guys the edger in action and what I do to make sure I always get a crisp, clean edge with it. And the reason why I use an edger um, over a trimmer. Not always. I actually did tr uh, edge most of his driveway and his sidewalks and stuff with a trimmer last week. But uh, that's more of a maintenance thing. And I don't I don't use a trimmer to, to cut in a new edge anyway. So here we go. Okay, first things first, make sure you have a good semi-fresh edger blade. This has only been used on one yard, but this is two weeks old. I just replaced this edge this morning. Honestly, I went way too long. Normally, I replace my edger blade every week. Don't skimp out on these guys. You can buy them. Look how much. Look at the difference, y'all. That's two weeks of edging. Uh, you can buy these off of Amazon in like a 50 pack for right around $50. So they're basically a dollar a piece. If you go down to your local hardware and buy edger blades, they're like $8 a piece. So yeah, you want to run the crap out of those. But if you just buy that cheap pack off Amazon, a dollar a week to have good clean edges is 100% uh, worth it. So got a clean, clean fresh blade on it. Let's uh, go in the back and I'll show you guys the edge that he wants to cut in. All right, so here's this edge that almost cuts in. There's a little bit of overgrowth right here. Now this is like a nice sealed and finished, you know, like a backyard pool area. You can hear the fountain running in the background, probably. I'm gonna get all these edges cleaned up. Plus he's got a nice little pool, uh, pool house over here. So I'll set you up right over here and uh, we'll get going. Okay, so got all that done. The rest of the, I am gonna try to edge around this little wavy thing a little bit more, but the, you can see the concrete is raised up. And uh, so I'm gonna use a trimmer for that. <clears throat> Just because the blade doesn't like to reach down that far. So I'll uh, see you guys later. I'll, I'm obviously gonna blow this off. I'll show you some after pictures or a little after video. So here we go. All right guys, here it is. Finish blowing off, put it on my blower back here. Nice and clean. Boom. Uh, didn't mention before, last step, you gotta blow it out, guys. Just put the air right here. After you blow the concrete off, blow it off to here. And then put that air right in that crack and it'll get all, that, all the dirt and debris out of there and make it look really clean and crispy. So, there you go. <clears throat> Let's get back to work.